If you're a fly fisherman, then you probably are really into the specifics and the details and you want the perfect eyewear for your fly fishing adventures. Well, we're gonna go over everything about fly fishing sunglasses that you should know. Stick around. Fly fishing is all about inserting yourself into nature as a natural fixture in that place and trying to mimic what's happening around you. It's all about details, preparation. You get really into it. You probably study the hatches to know what the perfect fly is to use in the environment that you're fishing. You might even tie your own ties. People take it pretty far. It's an awesome, beautiful sport. It's basically an art form. And your preparation and your gear should probably include the perfect eyewear for that sport and activity. So. We'll talk about a couple things that you're going to want out on the water for these adventures. Lens coverage, lens color, which is super important. Polarization and why that's important. And of course, the frames themselves and why you need specific things in your frame design for it out on these adventures. All right, let's talk about the basics to get you ready for shopping for fly fishing sunglasses. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk a little bit about is the frames themselves and what you should be looking for in these frames. All the frames in front of me are going to be optimized for fly fishing. They're all great fishing frames in general, but I wanted to break it down, get a little bit more specific about what you're gonna be looking for as a fly fisherman, because there are some things that are gonna be specific to fly fishing. First of all, Oakley frames have a ton going for them as sport frames and fishing frames. That's kind of a given if you know anything about the brand, but let's talk about that a little bit. First of all, the frame's constructed of something called O-Matter. It's a proprietary Oakley material, very durable, but also flexy, which is really nice. It means it's gonna have a more comfortable fit. If frames are too rigid, it can sometimes lead to pinching, especially if they don't fit super well. With this, they're very forgiving. They fit comfortably on your head, and if you spend your time fishing, you probably know that you spend a ton of time outside wearing your sunglasses, so that's really important. The second thing, unobtainium grip. Oakley has designed another proprietary material here for their grip here on the frame I'm holding in front of you. Um, you have it going all the way down the temples here and this stuff actually gets tackier and stickier as it gets wet. So if you're sweating or it gets a little bit of water on it from the stream or creek that you're fishing in, these things are gonna stay in place better than they were before, which is fantastic. If you've ever dropped sunglasses off of your face into water, you know they can just disappear sometimes and that's obviously not a great thing to happen during your trip. Um, a couple of the things that you're gonna wanna look for is your lens coverage here um, and how it's designed, how it fits into the frame. Is it gonna protect your eyes? You're out in the elements, you get all sorts of stuff splashing up or just like wind blowing across, you have bugs, you have all sorts of things that could bother you. You wanna have the right type of shape. So something like this fits well above your cheekbones, but also manage to kind of close in and keep things out of your face and your eyes, which is super wonderful to have. Of course, you also want them to be lightweight. All these frames are fairly light. They're gonna be very comfortable and you want them to fit under your hat. It's kind of the last thing that you're gonna to wanna to look for in terms of design. Once again, Oakley's thought about that with their sport frames. They know that they need to fit often under a helmet or a hat if you're out hiking or fishing. In this case, that's gonna be the case. You're probably gonna be doing a little bit of both, a little bit of hiking maybe to that perfect spot. It's kind of secret, no one knows about it. So that's really important. And then the last thing here um, in frame design, and this is kind of more of an add-on, is a couple of these Oakley frames that are sp uh, specific for fishing actually have a leash that you can attach, which is really nice to have. Um, this is gonna keep it in place. Sometimes if you're retying your line, you're gonna wanna pop these things off so you can see a little bit better what you're doing down in front of you. Obviously, fishing line's super small, super hard to see sometimes, so that's a nice feature to have there. You don't have to worry about dropping it when it's not actually on your face. So we love that as well. That's gonna pretty much wrap up the main things we're gonna talk about in terms of the frames themselves. Let's move on to some of the other tech that you're looking for. Okay, so probably the most important thing on your frame is going to be the lens tech. And with Oakley, they've pretty much fine-tuned lenses for just about everything under the sun, and that includes fishing, both deep water, shallow water, full sun, you know, a little bit of cloud cover, maybe tree cover where it's not quite full sun. And that's great for fishermen. That's gonna be fantastic. In terms of fly fishing, what you're gonna be looking for, first of all, we have Oakley's prism lenses. Their prism lenses actually melt their dyes down with the frame material. So it's not just a coating that's going on top of the lens, it's actually infused into the lens. And that's super great because you know that it's gonna always be there for you, no matter what the case with the lens, it's not gonna just scratch off and then you're gonna have parts that aren't gonna have that prism coating. So it's not a coating, it's actually within the lens. Wonderful. The second thing is that we're looking for is polarized lenses. We want polar. If you spend time out on water, you get a lot of glare bouncing off the water and that can lead to eye fatigue. If you don't have polarized lenses, it could be a rough day for you. 
Um, I spent a lot of time fishing and I know for a fact that using cheap lenses or just non-polarized lenses can basically be a deterrent as opposed to actually helping you fish. It can make things worse for you. So keep that in mind as well. If you're looking for frames, maybe not one of the ones that I have here in front of me, or maybe you are and you're looking at the different lens types and the lens options, you need it to be polarized for your fishing adventures. Definitely the case for fly fishing. And then before we talk about the actual prism lens colors that I'm gonna recommend, let's talk about VLT, visible light transmission. This is really important. So for shallow water and freshwater fishing, you might also fly fish in the ocean. In that case, I'll recommend something a little bit different, but you're gonna be looking for a VLT, visible light transmission of 11 to 15%. Now, what you might wanna know about this is that the lower the number, that means the less amount of light is getting through. So 11 is gonna be less, 15 allows a little bit more. You might, depending on where you fish most often, want a little bit more than that, but that's kind of the range and the sweet spot we wanna be in, 11 to 15%. All these lenses are gonna fall into that that I'm gonna show you in a moment. Okay, so let's move on to the actual lenses we're gonna talk about. Okay, so let's talk about the best options for our Oakley fishermen out there, our fly fishermen. So first off, we have our Oakley Prism shallow water polarized lenses. Now. Before we even get into this, this is probably your best lens option. Has a VLT of 15, which is gonna be pretty good for those low light situations in transition. It's made for those shallow water situations, being able to see a creek bed through the water, be able to see structure, which is really important for fly fishermen, trying to land that fly in the perfect spot and to deal with shadows. This is gonna be an excellent lens. The one downside to this lens for my fly fishermen out there is that it doesn't come in RX. So if you're looking for an RX option, Oakley hasn't gotten around to doing that yet. That's unfortunate, but hopefully one day they will. They say they will. So fingers crossed, we're still looking for that. Um, like I said, VLT of 15%. So this is gonna be on the lighter end of that spectrum. Like I said, that's okay. Around 15 is gonna be good. Once we start getting closer to 20, not so good. Okay, so moving on to our next lens option. That's going to be prism sapphire um, polarized. And there's a prism sapphire that's not polarized. So make sure you're looking for the right one. And I'm gonna pull a frame over here that's actually, this is not a good fishing frame, but this is what we had in the back room that had sapphire polarized. So right here, and I can point out a couple things as a bonus here that you wouldn't want in this frame for a fishing frame. First of all, very fashionable looking frame, very hip, very cool, um, very small lens coverage area. So sun, glare, you might have protection in the lens itself, but you're gonna get some glare coming up in your peripheral from underneath and from over top potentially. So this is not gonna give you the protection you want for those long days in the water. Also, no grip on this frame. It does fit pretty snugly. It has a nice wrap back here in the temples, but this frame is much more likely to slip off, especially if it gets wet when you're out in the water. So definitely a super downside there. Um, and in terms of that, there is just no technology in this frame other than the fantastic lenses that's gonna make it a performance frame. So keep those things in mind. Anyway, back onto the lenses that are actually in these that are great for fishing. This is going to be Prism Sapphire Polarized, has a VLT of 12. So on the darker side a little bit, but it's definitely gonna illuminate things, kind of pull up some of that contrast that you want maybe in the creek bed. Um, and that's gonna make it a good fishing lens. So keep that in mind. This is really down to personal preference and where you fish, but Sapphire is definitely gonna be a good lens for fishing. All right, so we're gonna move on to another frame that I definitely won't recommend for fly fishing, but that had the right lens in it. We had in the marketing room, so I pulled it out. This is going to be the Prism Tungsten Polarized Lens right here. So this has a VLT of 14. So again, closer to that 15 in the shallow water. And this is kind of your copper lens. You'll notice in a lot of fishing videos, copper is a very popular choice, especially for freshwater. That's gonna be the case for fly fishing. This is gonna give you a ton of contrast, which is definitely what you want. And then let's talk about why this frame wouldn't be a good fishing frame if it's not obvious already. Um, I do see people wearing aviators out on the water. So that's always kind of alarming to me. They don't have a lot of tech built into them, but they were like kind of some of the first sunglasses that were out there. So maybe that's why people started using them and they became part of the sport. But you'll notice no grip here. Um, this is just an acetate here on the temples. And then here there's nose pads, but those aren't very grippy themselves either. Um, you do have some coverage with an aviator, but these things, they would, if they weren't so tight on my face, they would probably slide right off. I'd be very concerned about these. They're very nice sunglasses. Now the lens itself, like I said, fantastic. The summary here, tungsten prism polarized lenses, fantastic, 14 VLT, gonna give you a ton of contrast on the water. It's gonna definitely give you that nice uh, 
view under the surface so you can see structure, see rocks, logs, kind of see where the fish might be. But um, definitely don't go with aviators. Don't do that. Don't be that person. All right, moving on to our next fishing lens. Okay, so the final lens that I'm gonna mention here in terms of uh, fly fishing recommendations is gonna be the Prism Rose Gold Polarized. And this is gonna be similar to the tungsten. It is kind of a copper hue, but with that little red hue, some people really like kind of that rose red hue that helps with contrast, helps kind of mute a lot of the glare on top of the polarization that's already happening. And again, this is a frame that I'm not going to uh, advocate for people to fish in. It's the split time. Um, it's an aviator, obviously, you can see that. It does, however, have some unobtainium grip here in the nose, so it might stay in place. It is comfortable. It is, does have some good lens coverage here, um, being that it is an aviator and they tend to have larger lenses, but we're here mostly to talk about the rose gold lens. So with this lens, like I mentioned, very similar to the tungsten, lets in a little bit less light. So if you want something that's gonna shade your eyes a little bit more, this is gonna be a good choice. Definitely a little bit darker than our shallow water um, and kind of nice right in the middle sweet spot lens. If you fish creeks and rivers that are maybe a little bit more exposed, and then you also fish stuff that's kind of a little bit more shaded, this is probably a good lens option for you. So definitely keep in mind the rose gold is a good option here and has to be polarized. Okay, now moving on to my three top picks for fly fishing. This is a buyer's guide, but I should go over a couple frames that are great for fly fishing. First of all, the split shot. This is kind of Oakley's flagship fly fishing frame. It's really kind of fitted for all the things that you would want as a fly fisherman or just a freshwater fisherman or a saltwater fisherman. Kind of can do it all. SFW of 131, it's a medium fit for everybody and it does come in shallow, deep water polar. Um, and of course, very sleek looking frame, gives you a bunch of coverage, comes with this nice leash on the back here. If I slip this on, you can see, fits really well, gives you a bunch of protection. The lenses are pretty large, which is great. Um, if I pop it off and hang it here, get caught on my ear. We can check out, it has unobtainium grip here in the temple tips. And then again, here on the nose, it's gonna stay right in place. And I just love, it's super lightweight. It's a super functional fishing frame. That's why it's their best selling fishing frame. This is a fantastic all around choice and they have a bunch of polarized lens options for you as well based on your preference. So this is definitely a highly uh, sought after fishing frame and I definitely recommend it for you. Okay every list comes with a flack in it. On top of the fact that this is just a great all around frame, it makes for a good fly fishing frame. It's a little bit more low profile than some of these other ones. It's very comfortable underneath the hat. I've used this for fishing. I really love it. It has a ton of grip to keep it right in place, which I love. It doesn't come with the leash option, but because of all the unobtainium grip, it's definitely gonna be perfect, very comfortable, and very tacky for those long days. You're not gonna lose this thing um, just because it drops off your face. Also, the one of the great things about this highly RXable and comes in just about every lens color you could possibly want in RX or non-RX. So you can get all of the polarized prism lenses that you could possibly want for this thing. So great choice right here, ton of grip, ton of coverage and uh, lower profile, there you go. All right, and to wrap up our list, I have probably my favorite Oakley Outdoorsman frame. It's the Clifton. I really love this frame for all of my avid hikers and fishermen out there. It's especially good for fly fishermen. I feel like this thing just belongs in creeks and rivers. It comes with the leash here, so you know it's definitely tailored for our fishing people. Um, and we have these nice capsules here around the eyes to kind of help with any peripheral glare, bugs, whatever's trying to fly up in your face. They just seem like they're made for the rivers and the creeks and the lakes in the high country. Um, I really love these frames. They come in all the polarized prism lens options that you could possibly want for being out on the lakes and the rivers and the creeks. And of course, with the leash, it's gonna fit right here, hang in your face when you're trying to retie something. Um, you want them off your face and then they're not gonna get lost. And then you pop them on and they're very comfortable. Because you can remove all of these little side things here that keep stuff out of your face, they actually kind of strip down and do a very cool looking frame otherwise, and very low profile. So I love that as well. Um, anyway, all around great outdoorsman frame. I really think this is a fantastic fly fishing frame. This would be my number one choice. I think all three of these are great, but this is definitely my number one. All right, that does it for our frame recommendations. All right, so you have it. That's all the information you need on fly fishing sunglasses from Oakley. Hopefully you've learned a ton and now you know what you should be looking for. If you have more questions, definitely call up our opticians or add a comment in the comment section down below. 
Um, be sure to like and subscribe to this video as well. That helps us out. And then you can find all of our videos in your feed instead of going fishing for them out on YouTube. Um, sorry about that. That's a terrible joke. Um, and then remember, of course, our Sea Better Guarantee, which gives you 45 days to check out these frames. And if you don't love them, you can send them back. We think you're going to get it right the first time, but just in case. All right, that does it. I'll see you out there. All right, and finally, before you go, check out more content from us right here. We have a ton of other great videos like this one. Um, and then of course our social media links are down below. There's a bunch of other great content down there. I will see you out on the lakes, trails, and rivers. Have a good one. See ya.